Grunder from Wilton, Martin from Bedford, and uh, Mason, undefeated freshman from Lewis Central, Stedman, Bishop Helan. We'll get used to seeing Brandon Mason here for a while. He's a freshman. I don't think he's been in the third period more than once this year, once or twice this year. Wrestled the uh, closest match in the tournament so far has been about 9-0. Wow. And he's in the blue from Lewis Central and hasn't had a point scored on him uh, in this tournament. Is that correct? That's correct. Take Tall, lanky young man and very tough in the top position. Speaking of the top position, the top box up there, 1A. That's uh, Grunder from Wilton, Martin from Bedford. In 2A, Watts from Assumption, Bantz from Independence. In our feature match, Brandon Mason in the red band. 47-0 from Lewis Central. Brett Stedman, 33-5. Bishop Helan. Mason already has defeated Stedman twice this year, not allowing a, point, uh, a point. Technique. Just rolling through. You know, I tell you what, Dan Ryan from Bishop Helan in Sioux City has done a fantastic job. Last year they had a third place team, the first trophy ever brought back to Sioux City. And now he's got another wrestler here, Brett Stedman, in the finals. And they've got to be excited what they're seeing in Sioux City wrestling. We were talking about that new record uh, for the team score, Lewis Central. 171 points, breaks the old record by three and a half points. It's a new record yeah, for most points by a team. And uh, the most champions ever crowned is five. About four teams have done that, but not one since 1964 when East Waterloo did it. And uh, now uh, Lewis Central trying to become uh, the first team to ever crown six champions. Well, Stedman may have lost this match here earlier against Mason here, but uh, Stedman getting right after a takedown attempt there of his own, so no score in this period in the match. Brett Stedman in the gold singlet. Brandon Mason for Lewis Central Council Bluffs. Lewis Central already winning at 119. Rosterman winning at 130 with Davis. Here's your 1A standing. Bell Plain, the champion. Bedford, second with 67. Don Bosco, 64 and a half. And Underwood, 64. Underwood still has a wrestler left. And so they have an opportunity to move up into third place. So Underwood trying to wrestle for a trophy. Bedford pretty much in second. And you saw a takedown there right at the end of the period by Brandon Mason. Oh, you got the leg in, bud. Got parallel, and you heard the referee say he got the leg in right at the end there with about one second left, so he gave him the two points. So Deferred. red down. 2-0 lead for the young man. Yeah. And we mean young, a freshman, Cover green. Lewis Central, coached by Keith Massey, 47 and L, amazing. He's on his way to possibly being the all-time winningest to avoid uh, any injuries. Watch the leg. Stedman getting a little bit high. He's on his hips here. If uh, Mason's trying to free his wrist, if he could free his wrist up, he might be able to cast across and get the points, but they're gonna break it for a stalemate. Official Tom Moore in 1A. It's a close match. A minute and a half left in the second period. Score three to two in favor of Alex Grunder from Wilton over Dusty Martin from Bedford. Actually 4-3 now. Martin has gone ahead. And in 2A, score still 0-0. Zero, zero. In the first period, 45 seconds left. There's two points for Josh Watts. So Watts goes out in front. And I like what I hear. I see here from Stedman. He's got the freshman base out. Doing a good job of riding. Now he's got a potential of getting back points. He had the ball and chain hooked up there. Working hard in the top position is Brett Stedman getting himself back into this match. 51 seconds left in the second period. Good hard ride there by Stedman over Mason. Doing a nice job and making uh, Mason really work underneath in the down position. Yeah. 
a lot of excitement in that 1A matchup. Yeah, there is a lot of action going three. on now. Wilton Wrestler almost getting pinned by Dusty Martin, then reversing and getting back points. So the score's 9 to 8 in favor of Martin with uh, 13 seconds left in the second period. And with 23 seconds left in this period here, Brandon Mason from Lewis Central Council Bluffs has just gotten warned for stalling. And they called a uh, that's 2-0, just a stall warning. Eight seconds left. But I think that's what Stedman wants here. He wants to take some starch out of the freshman here. He's done an excellent job of riding. No point. Great. Not by neutral. And now it's Stedman's choice. And I think he's going to go ahead and choose the down position. Only a junior. Stedman, 33-5 and five going against only a freshman, Brandon Mason. Mason's strength is, is this top position, but I know I think Stedman knows that, but he's got to find a way to score points. We'll see if he can continue to move. And this is where Mason really gets strong. Right in this top position. Stuffing the head. He's got a good length in his body, doesn't he? Really he does. He's 5 foot 11. A lot of height there for a 135 pounder. He's going to be a big, big boy. Mason in the top position, fouling. Gets the leg in again. Nice hand fighting. Stedman doing a nice job, but he comes to the mat. He gets spread out. His elbows get away from his hips there a little bit. And this is where Mason is particularly strong. Has both legs in. Calls a stalemate situation. Still only 2-0, minute 15 left in the third period. Mason leading 2-0, has not yet given up a point in this state tournament. A little closer match than he has had. Should be, it's the state final. Yeah, wrestling the best. So he's got a lot of poise in that top position there, Tim. He really likes to crank on the arms. Now he's got the cradle locked up, it looks like. Got the leg in. Going, going to settle him back. Deadman breaks the cradle. Now they got it locked up again in the roll through situation. This is to Brandon Mason's advantage here. He's going to get potentially get back points. And uh, cheers you here for the Wilton wrestler. Alex Grunder wins the state championship for, for Coach Nick Dorman with a fall over Dusty Martin. That was a great, great match. It was like 10 to 9 when the fall happened. With 23 seconds left, Mason still on top. He is just so tough in that top position. <laughs> Little coach's celebration gone awry. <laughs> so, up there in the top screen, but uh, now Mason working from the sit out is getting a little bit high here. A lot of poise. Getting a little bit, the tips off side, about five seconds left. And, and Stedman only one turn around from tying it up. Boy, I'll tell you, that yeah, freshman close. wins his first. It wasn't easy, though. No, it wasn't. But, but I'll tell you what, he had to ride hard. He, that was an outstanding performance on his part there. And so how about that? Lewis Central, three champions, and possibly three more to come. Third period, scores 5-0 in the, uh, there's your champion. Uh, Brandon Mason, and in 2A, 5-0 in favor of Josh Watts from Davenport Assumption, looking to go 43-0 and get his third state championship. Yep. One's the president. The winner. Yeah. Watts in the red uh, band, and uh, Eric Vance from Independence. And the maroon and the uh, green bang band. Five zero score. And he's going to set the record here. Also, winning wrestler in the history of Iowa high school wrestling. 189 wins, right? That's 189. Yeah, it will be. And he'll have an opportunity to add to that 
at the uh, state dual meet tournament because Davenport Assumption is qualified for that. So probably get three or four matches in that. So. Had his record. A record that uh, a young man we just watched wrestle, Brandon Mason, would have an opportunity at being 48-0 as a freshman. Multiply that, and you've got uh, someone in three years that will be knocking on the door. Here's your career wins right there. Josh Watts, 188 currently, going for his 189. You heard Jim Gibbons say that uh, he's going to have dual meet competition yet because Davenport Assumption is qualified for that state series. And we have another young man that's trying to uh, break the old record yet tonight, Koenig. Um, but it won't be a record for the book. How many matches did you have in high school? 112 total. Wow. I had three years, I had 77 matches. So about the same, but it used to be about 25 a year. So uh, Jack Mendenhall, my old coach at Ames, just didn't like to travel that much. Yeah, well, <laughs> you know, that's what it was. Um, 20 years ago, they were 25 a year. Now it's close to 50. How come we remember those things? <laughs> when I can't remember where I'm at half the time. Yeah. But we are right here at one... 135 pounds the end of the uh, 2A championship match with Josh Watts going to win his third championship for Davenport Assumption a perfect senior year you're looking at him going back with red ankle bands ready to finish it off there he is Bill Mathias, Mathis, Davenport Assumption. Let's go to the let's go to Dean Borg. Single A, 135 pounds, 17-year-old junior from Wilton. Alex Grunder is the champion at that weight. He decision Dusty Mart, I should say he he pinned at 521, Dusty Martin of Bedford. I asked Grunder what the hold was, and he said, I have no idea, but he's the champion. Thank you, Dean. Let's go back to the five pounds. We had a history match again. It was Josh Watts of Davenport Assumption, two-time defending champion, going for his third title against Eric Vance of Independence. Watts controlled it from whistle to whistle. He ended up winning 7-1. He's your Class 2A, 135-pound state champion. Thank you, Joe. Another rare three-time state champion. Now for the 3A award. Sixth place, Tim Langenet, Rock Valley. Fifth place, Justin Wyland, North Cedar Sandwood. Fourth place, Mike Bonander, West Lion Inwood. Third place, Danny Ebling, Green. Runner-up, Dusty Martin, Bedford. And the 135-pound 1A state champion from Wilton, Alex Grunder. Dino, you got something for us. You bet I do, Tim. 140 pay. Presenting the Class 2A 135-pound awards, Coach Bill Mathis of Davenport Assumption. Sixth place. Ian Alkey, West Liberty. Fifth place, Ryan Bach, Clear Lake. Fourth place, Brett Karkosh, South Tama County. Third place, Scott Truca, Crestwood, Cresco. Runner-up, Eric Bontz, Independence. And the Class 2A 135-pound champion from Davenport Assumption, Josh Watts, who has just set a new state record of 189 career wins. Go. All right. Spending the Class 3A 135-pound awards, Coach Keith Massey of Lewis Central, Council Bluffs. Sixth place, Danny Stafford, Waterloo West. Fifth place, Ryan Salas, Waterloo East. Fourth place, Keith Owens, Des Moines Roosevelt. Third place, Max Sauerman, Urbandale. Runner-up, Brett Stedman, Bishop Helan, Sioux City. And the Class 3A 135-pound champion from Lewis Central, Council Bluffs, Brandon Mason. 
We pause a moment now so that our program underwriters can be recognized for their support of Iowa Public Television's high school wrestling coverage. Funding for the 2001 Iowa High School.